Yo, it's your boy the Android Dr. Back again with another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install a custom ROM onto the Samsung Galaxy S5. So, the ROM I'll be installing is called the Ambassador ROM, which is version 2.4. Um, this ROM doesn't trip Nox as you can see Nox 00, zero. Um, so I'm just going to show you how to install it real quick but to install it to install it you will need to root your Samsung Galaxy S5 if you don't know how to root the S5 I'll leave a link to my simple tutorial in the description down below so just go ahead and follow that and root the phone next thing you'll need to do is you'll need to download the ROM so um, I'll leave a link to the ROM in the description down below and I'm just going to show you some screenshots of the ROM this is how it will look once I install it onto the phone these are the screenshots here and this is how the lock screen will look and you'll have these different settings here for the lock screen, abstract, tiles, geometric, and all that good stuff. And this is the download link for the ROM. So like I said, I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. So once you've followed my tutorial and you've rooted your Samsung Galaxy S5, just download the ROM and start it on your desktop like what I've done then connect your phone to the USB cable so once your phone's connected just drag and drop the ROM open your SD card you can either store it onto your external SD card or your internal SD card on your phone I always use my external SD card so just drag and drop the ROM onto your SD card as you can see I've already placed it on there so just drag and drop it onto your SD card then you can just shut that down now you can unplug your phone close that little flap now you just need to put your phone into recovery mode so to put your phone into recovery mode just power off now press the volume up button along with the home button here in the middle and the power button here on the side then it should take you into recovery there I highly recommend doing a backup first before installing the ROM so just select this option here and just back up your current firmware first before you go ahead and install this ROM so once you've finished backing up just go to wipe select wipe select swipe factory reset here so just swipe across swipe across again I normally give it two to three wipes so just wipe it one more time then select back select back again now go to install and here's the ROM so just select it and once you've selected it just swipe to confirm flash ok 
Okay, let's see if I can turn that up now. Okay, so now it's opened up Aroma Installer. So you get some options here to choose what you want to install from what you don't want to install. So agree with the terms and conditions. Select next. And he, like I said here, you can just choose all the things you want. So if you don't want to trip Nox, you'll need to choose the stock kernels. So make sure these two are ticked. If you don't want to trip Nox, if you're not really bothered about Nox, you can choose any one of these kernels to install. And as you can see here, you can just choose all the things you want. You can even choose a theme, so I'm going to choose the dark theme here. You can remove boot sound. You can choose whatever AccuWeather widget you want. You can enable wallpaper scrolling. As you can see, these are all the things you can choose. Uh, let's see. You can even de bloat the ROM as you can see. Select applications to remove. So you can remove all the Google stuff, all the bloatware. Then hit next. Then just hit install now. does take a while to install as you can see it's at 10 percent Okay, so as you can see, it's flashed all these different applications there. And it's removed all the bloatware, as you can see, removing Google Playbooks, Chat on, Chrome Browser, Hangouts, Google Music, YouTube. And now it's finished, installation complete. So just go ahead and select next, then reboot device, hit end. Now the phone should reboot. Okay, the first boot does take a while, so I'll be back when it's done. Okay, so it's finished booting up there. So I'm just going to go through the setup process here. So I'm going to choose United Kingdom, because that's where I live. Hit start, hit next, and 
Now I'm just going to put my Wi-Fi password in. Okay, so I've done that. Skip. Skip again. Next. Next. Done. <clears throat> Hit next. Next. Now hit skip. Skip again. <clears throat> now finish. Let's just go into the settings here. And as you can see, S5 Lollipop ROM by Ambassady. Android version 5.0. As you can see, we do have the black theme there going on in the background because normally on lollipop you get the white background but as you can see it's black And as you can see, all the bloatware is now gone. Samsung Hub and all that crap is no longer on the device. So yeah, that was just a quick tutorial video showing you how to install the Ambassador ROM on the Samsung Galaxy S5. Um, like I says, you will need to root your Samsung Galaxy S5 to install this. If you don't know how to root, like I says, I'll leave a link to my simple tutorial in the description down below. Be sure to check it out. And as you can see now we get all these different settings here for the lock screen. So we'll look at this one. So yeah, that was my quick tutorial. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Deuces.